Hello everyone, it's uh, Reverend Deanna Cox here. I am live from my backyard. I uh, thought I would show you my beautiful lilac tree that is in fall colors. And uh, there's robins and stuff singing around me. It's quite a nice little oasis in my backyard. I'm Reverend Deanna Cox. I am the minister for the United Church of Canada and I serve the online community here of DKR United as well as the physical locations of Daysland, Killam and Roseland United Churches. And this is our midweek reflection for September 22nd. And I wanted to um, talk to you. We've got um, Orange Shirt Day coming up on September 30th. And last night, um, I wanted to unwind a little bit after the board meeting. And so we watched um, the very first episode of Queen's Gambit on Netflix. And we watched that Queen's Gambit. Gambit. And it's about a young girl who, um, I think she's like eight or nine when she's orphaned. And... Uh, and when she comes into the orphanage, they take, they ask her to take her clothes off, and she's there's a scene where she's lovingly looking at the embroidery of her name on the dress. I imagine her mom had done that for her, and the um, matriarch of the orphanage just takes that from her and says, "And we'll be burning this." And I, I just, it struck me that that's what Orange Shirt Day is about. Um, Orange Shirt Day was started by Phyllis Jack Webs Webstad. She's a residential school survivor. And she shared her story about having her brand new orange shirt that was bought for her by her grandmother stripped from her when she went into the residential schools at age six. And she never saw it again. And so that orange shirt symbolizes the identity. And and like that girl in the orphanage in the Netflix, you know, that identity, that connection to the loved ones, that it is just a thing, but it has, it's symbolic of other stuff. And um, September 30th is has been declared... National Truth and Reconciliation Day, um, also known as Orange Shirt Day. And it's coming up, and so this coming Sunday, we want to encourage everyone to wear orange uh, on Sunday and on September 30th. Um, if you have enough stuff, wear orange every day. <laughs> um, and I know that there is so much going on in our world right now. Um, we have pandemic fatigue, and then there's, you know, there's all the dialogue or anger around the election, and there's, there's like, global um, environmental crises happening around the wor world, and, like, there's just layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. And we might feel like there's just no possible way that we can bear one more thing. And I know it's a lot right now. But this is, when I was thinking about this as I was just making notes before coming on, this is exactly when Jesus would have like the, the exactly this kind of situation when Jesus would have inserted himself in and said, okay, we've got to lift up the justice issues here. We have to show the world what unconditional love looks like in this messy situation with all these different problems. This is when we have to have grace. And 
And so I encourage you to like think about that. Think about the biblical stories that you know. And even if you can't quote scripture and verse, I know you know them. Um, so just think about the stories that you know. And think about the kind of times that Jesus inserted himself in. And this is exactly kind of like when he would have been calling us to stand for justice, to exude love, unconditional love, if, with every portion of our being, and to live with grace. And so I know we all experience discrimination, prejudice, even atrocities and trauma, and God forbid we even experience violence to varying extent in our lives. We all have some brokenness within us. But we are called to practice the kingdom of God. To practice the kingdom of God. To lift up the needs of others. To lift them up and lift them up and lift them up until all are seen and heard and valued. And sometimes that might mean that our needs might just have to wait for a minute. I'm sure we can all imagine what it would be like to have our most favorite possession or even our very last possession of a loved one forcibly taken from us. An orange shirt day, or reconciliation in, in general, is about doing what we need to do to ensure that that kind of pain is never inflicted on people again. Reconciliation is about raising our personal awareness of people in our midst that are being pushed to the edges and marginalized. So friends, I invite us this week to maybe hit the pause button on all our preconceived notions about First Nations people and issues around residential schools to hit the pause button on that and to look at this upcoming week and a bit until September 30th as opportunities to educate ourselves, to open ourselves to practicing the kingdom of God and learning about people and places that have been pushed to the edge. I want, I encourage you to watch our Facebook page, DKR United on Facebook, um, to watch our Facebook page for various links and ways that you can listen, learn, and respond so that together we can build a better tomorrow, a better, stronger, kinder tomorrow that looks after the lost and the least, and that more accurately reflects the kingdom of God. And I remind you that the kingdom of God is up to us to build, each one of us, a step at a time. And so I encourage you to wear orange, um, to find opportunities to listen, especially in ways that challenge our ways of thinking. That's always a very good exercise to challenge oneself and just to listen, not to respond yet, to listen and learn. And, and then we respond. There'll be lots of ways that I'll share that we can respond and build uh, and practice building God's kingdom on earth. 
So friends, um, thank you for joining me this, this morning for our midweek reflection. I'm finding that I am missing or feeling a gap in the um, having nothing for Sunday for online offerings. So uh, again, I'll mention that we're looking for a volunteer to help record the Sunday service. And um, those of you that tune in to the online piece, if you can like shoot me a text or a message or a phone call or whatever about the kinds of things that you enjoy in having a Sunday online piece, um, that would be help us, helpful to help us know what kind of um, support we need to make that happen. So again, I am Reverend Deanna Cox with DKR United. And this has been our midweek reflection. And thank you so much for joining me in my backyard for a discussion on uh, reconciliation and Orange Shirt Day. I hope to see you out and about wearing orange and uh, tuning in to um, some of the links and things that uh, we're going to share this week online. Take care. God bless. Bye.